Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. Just a quick video to show you how to change your uh, root destination on the PMDG 777 using FSI Panel 2017. To change the root destination correctly after you have moved your aircraft, please follow the procedure that I will show you now. Okay, let's let's assume we want to fly in Washington. Okay, so this is what we want to do. We want to do an ILS 19 left in Washington, DC. Let's say we want to be at position Izumi, which is 16.7 miles. So I'll put myself 18 miles or yeah, 18 miles should be fine. And we should be fine, huh? 18 or 18 miles. Okay, 18 miles final. Let's go for it. All right, so the airport, Kilo India Alpha Delta. The runway is 19 left. And we said we want to go to 18 miles. Enter. And 5.9 is the altitude. Okay, that's good. We can leave it as default and validate. And now we are ready to move, so move aircraft. As always, do not touch anything when FSI panel is doing the trimming or it might fail. So we just have to wait a couple of seconds. It takes less than 10, 15 seconds usually. So now the system will initialize. I will just open the screen so we see better what's happening here. Let's see if I can move that screen down there. Yeah. Another three seconds for here and we will be able to do our job. That's it. Trimming your aircraft, please stand by. So we need 5,900 feet, which is coming now. The speed is good. So now it will take another five or six seconds and we will have the control. Okay, please check autopilot mode set your FMC. So this is where we will play now with our FMC. How do we do that? If we look in our FMC right now, the route, page one, destination is Lima Fox Mike Lima. If I change it here, I might have a crash to desktop or some issue. So the best way to do it is to go to the uh, alternate page. So you see this ALTN, alternate. Now you should have the closest airport here. If you don't see your airport, you just type it, type it on the first pay, on the first line. So now I, I see it here, Kilo India Alpha Delta. So let's divert there. So I just press here, and now direct to, and we want to divert to uh, Kilo India Alpha Delta. So divert now and execute. Okay, now if I go to my route page, the destination is Kilo India Alpha Delta. There. So now I can just set my approach. The departure arrival, we said we want to go for an ILS 19 left. Execute. I can see that Izumi is in front of me. So I'll put Izumi on top and execute. And that's it. Destination is changed. We have the whole routing done. Now what we could do is set the minimum. Okay, so if we check our approach chart, minimum is 502. So let's set the minimum at 502. All right, barrow, and we want 502. All right, we want 502. The altimeter setting in the US usually is in uh, inches. So this is it. So now we have everything done. We are ready to fly our approach. Let's assume you want to fly this approach with different weather, you want to fly it another day, you want to fly it three or four times in a row now. And you don't want to reset your, your altimeter all the time, so what you should do now is take a snapshot. So go in FSI panel, take snapshot. We are still in position freeze in P3D, no problem. And I will put here ILS 19 left, 70 nautical miles, all set, kilo in the alpha delta. For example, anything you like. We go back into P3D and we are ready to fly, so let's see if it works. I am the approach and I release the brake. I hold the brake a couple of seconds and your control, that's it. We are flying the approach. Light slope is on. The light slope is coming. And the aircraft will fly its approach. Light slope captured. That's it. So now we are on the way. Another thing I forgot to show you, I'll show you now on the reload. So now we are flying this approach. And 
let's say we landed and now we'd like to fly another approach with a different weather so how can we do that now let's see so we close it really as you know if we reload a pmdg over a pmdg it's be better to to close okay guys i'm back uh, we've just uh, restarted p3d here and uh, I have restarted FSI panel, like I pretend I will uh, do it again. I don't need to select my airport runway and uh, fix because we have created a snapshot before. The only difference now, I want to show you that we fl can fly with different weather. So what I've done here, I have activated now Active Sky. And of course, I have started Active Sky before FSI panel. This is a requirement. Huh? So now what we will do, we will load the snapshot from here. And now we have Washington dolls. Everything is good and we are 19 miles final. So the only thing we need to do now is press move aircraft and see what happens. So now we will fly with active sky weather, different QNH, different weather. And uh, let's see, it's at night because the, the, it was at night uh, at the time I was doing this video. So let's see, we can see already that our FMC seems to be set correctly. We see the QNH is now 3000 instead of 2992 that we had before. We have our minimum, which is set 502. We let the system initialize. Here it goes. Oh, we have a quite a bit of wind here. You see that? 44 knots. I didn't know, I didn't check the weather before trying, so of course I'm not going to fly this approach. So I don't want to show you a disaster on the landing. Alright, so now FSI panel again is telling you that every, when everything is set we can release and fly the approach. So I will try it. Arm the approach, hit the brake, and I have control, the aircraft will fly. Just to check uh, this, I bring here condition let's see condition just to make sure we are in uh, Chicago and we can see here that the wind is supposed to be one and zero at three knots at the surface so the wind will drop quite a bit from 43 to uh, three knots and the QNH is I see here one zero three zero 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 as you can see so the QNH is set correctly and the wind will drop quite a bit because we see now that the wind at 6000 is 40 knots and at 3026 and on landing it will be only three knots so everything is set correctly and as you can see the aircraft is flying so now you can fly different weather with the same snapshot and your FMC will always be set I mean as long as you load the snapshot and your minimum is set. And the side panel will take care of your QNH, barometric setting, and you are free to go as many times as you want. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you as always a safe landing. Thank you, see you next time.